Find cosine of theta, given that sine of theta is equal to negative square root of 7 over 5. And they tell you that the angle is in quadrant number 3. Now, since the angle is in quadrant number 3, you want to make sure that you draw your x and y axis. So here's my x axis and my y axis. And it's on quadrant number 3, so I'm going to place a generic triangle on this quadrant. So I'm just going to make a regular generic right triangle uh, towards the x-axis. And we are talking about this angle here. So you are standing here. And the sign, so, so the sign is your opposite over your hypotenuse. So your opposite will be square root of 7 and your hypotenuse is 5. This is negative so therefore the negative belongs to because we're going down to the square root of 7. And now I need to be able to find cosine. Cosine is so ka adjacent over hypotenuse. So therefore I need to be able to find the adjacent. I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, where c is your hypotenuse, which is 5 squared. a, we're going to have that be negative square root of 7 squared plus b squared. 5 squared is 25. Negative square is going to be positive. Square root and the square cancel, so that gives me 7 plus b squared. And now I'm just going to solve for b. Move the 7 to the left, we can say negative 7. That gives me 18 is equal to b squared. Take the square root on both sides. The square root cancels, so therefore b is equal to the square root of 18. But square root of 18 can be written down as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. So therefore, that'll be three square root of two, and that is letter, side B. Now, one of the things that you have to be careful is because this is going to the left, this is going to be negative. So therefore, the cosine of theta is your adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent will be negative three square root of two divided by your hypotenuse, which is five, and that'll be your answer.